So silly me, forgot to film an introduction, but today I'm reviewing and trialing the new Smashbox Pore Minimizing Oil Free Primer. And yeah, so basically I'm just going to get straight into that and you can just admire me checking out my highlight. <laughs> So this is what the product looks like and this is just a tiny little sample size. I got this like as a sample when I ordered things from Sephora.com because I'm in Australia I don't have a Sephora here yet. Yet. We're getting one. <laughs> um, so this is a tiny little size. The full size is $39 and that's how big it is. This is a tiny little primer and just reading off my phone what it says, it says a non-drying formula also absorbs oil all day for flawless, smooth, shine-free skin. So it visibly reduces and blurs pores, it mattifies shines and controls oil up to 8 hours and it's sweat and humidity resistant. So that's what I'm going to be testing for this video today. So the primer doesn't have a pump or anything, it's just in a little squeezy tube. When you squeeze it out... It's like a skin color and it's like a balm consistency if you can see that there and it kind of looks a little bit like the professional actually it looks a lot like the professional so I'm going to try this now I'm gonna do one side of my face and then do my whole makeup like usual and then just see how it works and to see if it does anything dramatically different I don't know how much I'm meant to apply I don't know if I've got too much I'm just applying it in the places where I have redness or uneven skin tone or pores, just something that I want to cover. It's very smooth, it doesn't feel very oily. When you rub it in it kind of feels velvety. Feels very weird rubbing primer on one side of my face. So this is what my skin looks like now with the primer on. As you can see, I do have a lot of redness in my skin naturally. It's just the skin type I was born with. So this is the side that I put the primer on, and this is the side that I didn't put the primer on. As you can see, it's covered up a lot of the redness, and my pores also look a lot smaller. It does blur, as it says. So as you can see there, the pores look very small and diminished and over here, if I'll stay in focus, and over here my face kind of looks more red and blotchy and it just looks really irritated, which it's not, it just, it looks irritated all the time. Um, yeah, so my face definitely looks a lot smoother over here. Um, I don't know about like controlling oils, but I can say that this side looks a lot more matte than this side. This side has natural shine. Um, I'm going to see how it wears throughout the day. So I'm just going to apply my foundation over top now. So the foundation I'm going to be using is the Chi Chi Fabulous and Flawless Foundation and I'm in the shade 1 Ivory. This is the one with yellow undertones and I'm just going to apply that with a beauty blender. I'm going to work in thin layers and then just build the product up. I'm just going to apply my foundation normally like I would. So just dot it all over my face. And then start to blend it in. So that's a very, very thin layer there. As you can see, um, the foundation looks a lot smoother on this side. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but definitely looks a lot smoother. I'm just going to apply a thin second layer just to cover up all the redness I have. So that's my skin there. I'm happy with the like coverage of the foundation. I'm okay if a little bit of redness like peeks through. Um, that's how my skin usually looks. I'm not too fussed on that. So I used about a pump and a half for that. Not even. Um, I still had a little bit left on the back of my hand. So that's the foundation there. I, I'm going to go finish off my concealer, my um, bronzer, my powder, all that jazz, and I'll be back. So I've just finished putting on my makeup and if you want a tutorial on this look then give this video a thumbs up. I didn't record it because my camera was dying and I wanted to get this video up and then charge my battery. So basically I've just done my makeup. <laughs> yeah, um, 
I haven't powdered anywhere on my face apart from like bronzer and blush powder. I haven't powdered like my T-zone or anything just because I want to show how oily I usually get and if this little guy can control those oils. So it is currently nearly 12.30 in the afternoon, morning, I don't know, afternoon. I don't know if you can see that there. Yep, so, ah, it's 12.30 now. So I'm going to update you in a few hours. I'm going to only keep this on for eight hours because that's how long it says it's meant to last for so yeah I'm gonna keep it on for eight hours and then I'll update you every few hours like I just said oh, I'm just repeating myself over and over so this is what the makeup looks like so basically this side here is where I put the primer on this side is where I didn't put the primer on so as you can see this side looks a lot more like blurred but yeah and what I like about the primer is if you can see up here I like lines in my forehead from when I go like this I don't know that that when I go like that I get, I get little lines in my forehead and it's not really showing up but this one isn't as like visible as this one is at least in person it's not it might be on camera because camera shows everything more but yeah so I'm gonna update you guys in a few hours so it's currently been five hours I didn't check in any earlier just because me and Shane were out doing stuff um, as you can see, this side is the side without the primer. Um, I'm looking into the viewfinder, sorry. This side is a lot more shiny than this side is. Um, that's probably the only thing that I noticed right now. If I go close up, that's what it looks like. So this side definitely looks a lot more smooth and flawless. And this side just looks shiny. Ah, oh, the foundation is rubbed off on my nose, which is usually the place that it rubs off. It usually rubs off here, like this area here and yeah none's rubbed off there uh, I've still got foundation here but I don't have it here uh, a bit on my nose is rubbed off and I did notice that when I put the primer on earlier and then I put my foundation on my foundation started to like break up on my face like on this side the side that didn't have the primer so I'm not quite sure if that was the primer or the foundation I've only used it once before so I'll be back in a few hours hi so it is currently about 9 30 p.m. and as you can see I am a grease ball on one side of my face so this is a side again with no primer and this is a side with primer as you can see I'm very very greasy um yeah so this is how oily I get throughout the day I don't get oily like around here that's my highlight um I don't get oily around here I just get oily in the t-zone so that's why I'm oily there um I'm going to end the video here, but basically my thoughts on the primer are, well, it's definitely oil controlling, um, as you can see there. It's been, what's that, nine, about nine and a bit hours, so longer than it said, and it's still going. Um, the pores are, yeah, a lot less noticeable on this side, so yes, I would say still eight hours is good, and smooths and it's definitely prolonged the use of my foundation as you can see my foundation still on my nose but it's not on over here so yeah i definitely say thumbs up for that one and um i'd give it probably a nine out of ten yeah so that's my review and if i think you should purchase it you definitely should and i will definitely be purchasing the full size so thanks for watching guys and oh if you haven't entered my giveaway the first one I did with the Chi Chi palette, that's over, sorry. And my second one with the Savvy lipstick kit, that's still going on. So make sure to enter, guys. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. But on to this giveaway from this video. You can win one of these 